Hi everyone, thank you for being here. I uh, have a new journal release for my shop that I would like to share with you. And um, it's gonna be over three videos, I think, because there's a lot of books and I would rather do it separately. And uh, there is few things that I need to explain. So this is a melancholy series that I created, I was inspired by the weather in this country, which is stormy and rainy at the moment, and uh, by the uh, autumn and all the vegetation sort of dying and disappearing, and the colors. So these books are made with cuddy paper and textile, these covers. And um, curry paper is handmade paper in India. And then obviously textiles, because I love working with textiles. I did some felting, these little mushroom shapes. I felt it and hand dyed. Everything is original work and everything is handmade. And um, I uh, need to explain I had a question um, on my YouTube. What do I mean when I say print? Is it a print from a printer? And I suppose I never explained how I make my print. So this is not a tutorial, but I want to explain how I made these prints or um, like, let's say these prints uh they are original pieces of art i don't uh i don't scan them and then reprint them by printer they are prints on textile or on paper and i will show you what i do well i will not show you exactly what i do but i quickly explain so Every piece, every print, when I say print, is original piece made with paint and a printing process. No computer, no printer. I don't pr usually copy or print anything on a printer. Sometimes, but I will say if I did that. Uh, the other pictures in my books are vintage book pages and they are always vintage always old, always original from the actual books, never reprints, never scans. So when I say print, that means gel print that I made, which is essentially a monoprint because no two prints are the same. They are all made by hand. So this is a gel plate, uh, but some of you might know it and I assumed everyone knows it, but you know, why would people? know that because um yeah i didn't know about gel plate a couple of years ago so this is a gel plate it's soft and it basically acts like a printing press without having to have the printing press and the pressure that you need to apply to a printing press because it's gel it just transferred the color a lot easier then i cover the gel plate with paint any paint that you want to use. And then I use a dried pressed plant matter, which then I print. I put this down, I put piece of paper or fabric over it and print what's on the gel plate on the piece of fabric. Either it's a negative or positive. So you can print this and you will have the paint and where the plant is, that will be clear, like this. Or you will clear the paint off and then print what the paint that's underneath the plant. And that could be this. I was printing some branches on silk the other day. So this is not a tutorial because I developed a process that I don't really want to share sorry and um, 
I just wanted to explain that when I say print, it's an original print made by hand and um, and it's not a co it's nothing to do with computer it's not a copy so thank you for watching that little demonstration i could make a tutorial about how i make my prints i have just not done a tutorial yet of any kind so maybe in 2002 i will do a little course about the things I do, uh, if people are interested, um, why not? But today I don't, uh, there is no time. Um, okay, so this book is my melancholy series. I was inspired by the bad weather. I This is multimedia cover made on curry paper. Uh, there are pastels, oil pastels, gesso, acrylic paint print as in monoprint handmade print embroidery machine embroidery some we have seed heads we have dandelion seed heads there is felting handmade felt mushroom shapes i was sort of inspired by mushroom or lichen there is some paper and sewing through and we've got the rain coming down and I really, really love these books. I'm really proud of them. These books are quite large. They are 20 by 18 centimeters, the cover. There is five signatures. And there is the spine is one, two, three, four centimeters. It's, it's very chunky, but you can still chunk it up. This is the closure. It's brass clip and there is space. And um, here we have a wallpaper, textured wallpaper that I painted over and a pocket where you can slip something. This is also a monoprint, my monoprint. So here is a print. I printed some seed heads over this art. This is a seawall. It's a collage with some uh, textures, paper mache textures. Then I embroidered uh, the stones in there, sewn. And uh, we've got some tissue paper here, sort of decoupaged on cutty paper and uh, made this dramatic sky and printed those seed heads over it so that's uh, i was inspired by Connemara where i went for a couple days for a break here parchment paper book pages and i did a lot of eco printing in november so we've got a lot of eco-printed paper, coffee dyed paper, drawing paper, stick drawing paper that I hand dyed, um, another eco-print. This is, you can see my calls, that's, uh, it's um, just making um, pattern paper, that's nice soft texture, book page with lichens um from a vintage book about flowerless plants here we have a phone book page everything is things are sewn things are dyed uh, coffee dyed it's quite multimedia books different papers here we have an eco print with some oak and uh, some raspberry leaves or blackberry leaves. This is all made into pocket. So they are all originals on handmade paper. No, this there is no computer printing in any of these books. Not by me anyway. Another eco print. So we've got lovely colors and textures and shapes 
Here is hand dyed envelope sewn and blue paper. Here is a book page about eggs and birds and the Czech vintage page from a book about plants from fields and um, waterways and stuff. Here is a vellum envelope with a vintage bird book page in there. Sewing. Coffee dyed. I don't know if this is parchment paper. It's not waxed. So you can write on it, draw on it, anything. It's better than waxed. It's crinkly, but it hasn't got the waxed finish where you can't really draw. This is another gel print, monoprint of a seed head on rusted fabric. So there is loads of different multimedia steps and processes to make these books. More prints on textiles. This is, I printed fern leaf on hand dyed fabric, parchment paper. This is um, painted, this is painted uh, wallpaper textured with seed heads. Some um, designer paper. More eco print. I suppose the designer paper is the computer print, obviously, because that is bought in a pack. But uh, they are not prints by me. This is vintage book page, beautiful vintage birds, British birds, more eco printing. So lots of space to write, to stick pictures in, glue things, a print on handmade paper, a glassine, glassine paper, hand dyed, some goats. Oh, this is a print on handmade paper of some maple maybe i don't know there are these leaves that i found and i love both sides of this oh and this i really wanted to make moody eco print so i put loads of iron in it and these leaves round leaves and they came out great i wanted like a moody sort of bad weather dark print so there is loads of original prints. Oh, here we have a collage that I made from fabric scraps that I printed. Um, different plants, different scraps, rusty fabric, eco-printed fabric, vintage lace from Greece. And this uh, is um, artwork I made with some texture paste. I sewn these seed heads into there. I made this dramatic sky. It's a cuddy paper with acrylic paint and some cheesecloth. Um, hand sewn. I have the toddler here, so he's probably gonna make an appearance. Here he is. Music page. Um, book page. Mushroom page, vintage mushroom page, and all the signature stitching is hemp cord finished with ceramic beads with the colors of the book. Here is a book page where I saw this little tag on. And another you can slip something in there. Another page, double page of the eco printing that I did with the iron metal and the round leaves. 
everything is stitched all around the cover is hard but um, sort of uh, flexible varnished varnished over everything is nice and secure so this is the first book yeah and i have three of those this is the second one that is the whole cover so we've got these seed heads gesso and dandelion seed heads and uh, felted mushrooms again <laughs> and then all the prints all the artwork all the um, eco prints handmade paper we have these eco prints more some lovely hand dyed coffee dyed paper beautiful light blue vintage print eco printed paper um, more pages that i made here just wanted to add some textures different papers different pages this wallpaper is cool print more um well the same similar things in all the books so what i explained in the first one rusty fabric is in here as well there's loads of sewing and loads of hand handmade work this collage textile collage here pockets this Lizards and third page, original book page, more eco prints. Oh wow, this one is dramatic. More birds, and here we have the artwork, seed head artwork, and uh, number three same more of the same look how this is all secure but the one of the strings on the binding has um one of the strings on the string like there is loads has come loose and made this shape and i really liked it how it looks with the cover and i wanted to recreate it and i managed it a little bit here but I couldn't do it again. I really love it. So I left it. And uh, yes, yeah, so we have the same again. And more artwork, more eco prints, more bread pages, more vintage book pages. Beautiful. I love this one. Wanted to keep it, but if I kept everything, I made. I already have too much stuff. Beautiful mushrooms. So this was autumnal mushrooms and rain and birds. Oh, this is bird overload. And ferns. Sort of undergrowth. Lovely. Oh, this is a nice combination. These two next to each other. Okay. And again, 
this. And then I have two of these. So let's see them next to each other. So this is real leather and it, it looks worn and it, it's got lovely patina on it already. I bought this bag in Crete and the strap was super long. So I shortened it and I used them to make these closures because love love the leather, love the look of, of the patina on it already. Um, so this one has blue crochet vintage lace and this one has um, like, a, like a natural colored. And we have the Dramatic Sky again, and Rusted Fabric, and Cuddy Paper, and the Rain, and the Stitching, and uh, this time we have these felted mushrooms that I painted as well on the edges, blue. That's real wool felt, uh, painted and hand dyed. And we have five signatures and these books are chunky and I embroidered a lot of seed heads into there and made the skies really dramatic with paint and pastels and gesso and I really had a nice play around with these and they are they are chunky because as you can see I made holes here and it went on the last one so then i added one here and here so if you make it in chunkier you can still close it so closes like this i don't know if it would come out here is the screw i know it probably wouldn't come out but when i open it i always hold it better to see it wouldn't come out but better to be safe and then then we have the beads ceramic beads in the colors of the book again and we have similar things inside both of them so i'll show you this blue one so we have this print on a cotton cloths. We have this artwork again with the seed heads. Everything is a pocket, you know, there is loads of tucks and pockets. We have these um, oak eco prints, parchment paper, drawing paper, we've got blue papers, yellow papers, and vintage book pages. Again, McCall's dressmaking pattern and eco prints. They are slightly different from the previous books, bluer maybe, but a lot of things are the same. Just different shape. They are taller, they are 22 centimeters and they are 15 centimeters wide the other ones are more square but all the similar similar items and there is only two of these so we have the collage with the scraps and we have the eco print many eco prints i wasn't stingy with the eco printing I wanted to use them, I made them and I wanted to use them. I love them and I thought they would look great in these books. This is another print on textile. Cuddy paper, hand dyed. Different sort of papers and uh, vintage book pages and uh, 
designer paper. I don't really use thick designer papers anymore. I still have some left, so I use them now and again. But I do like these thin ones. I think they are supposed to be wrapping paper, but they are matte and they have beautiful vintage prints from the artists. Like it's old. Uh, I think some are from Edo Millet. The sea one, he painted sea creatures, and I don't know if I'm saying his name right. Um, and so they are vintage prints, but the papers are new. This is another handmade print. We have this, um, I will cut all this off, sorry about that. Uh, we have these, the stone wall again with the print in the haze like i wanted to recreate fog fog above the stone walls because we have lots of fog in ireland in england i've seen some fogs i love them you can go around in them nobody sees you go around your beastly business in the fog and they lie low and they are thick. So, another handmade print and pocket, wallpaper pocket. You put something in there, you can flip it out so you can comfortably take something out. All, it's all secure and sewn down and then you fold it and it's hidden and then you close this so this one is chunky and beautiful and then we have this one and we have more of the same So I have 22 books today that I want to put in the shop and so I'm going to film it separately. So after this I'm going to film another video because there is not much daylight left this time of year. We are so high up, we even get the, what is it called, the polar light, uh, northern lights. So imagine how much daylight we have, not a lot. So thank you for watching this one. Next one is coming now and uh, I will see you very soon.